Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, in addition to our basic management of the Empire, we did a few things. Um, one thing we did start doing is over here in this system, um, we have converted this planet to an urban world um, in preparation for eventually converting this system into a prototype ring world. So we are continuing our work on that. We also unlocked the ability to build battleships and we have begun construction of our first battleship designs here. And actually, speaking about battleships, um, after the episode, I went ahead and went back into the ship designer. Uh, I was playing around with some things here. We apparently actually do have hangar modules um, because we actually have scout wings. So... Uh, I could actually start creating a carrier, but I'm actually going to wait until this finishes before I start designing up a carrier. Um, but so our first battleship design is this, which are basically all large weapons, heavy hitting, long range artillery ship, essentially. And um, what I went ahead and did is I also created another design, this design here which still has the large weapons on it, but also has a bunch of medium range. Um, weaponry that uh, has some other different effects so these guys uh, ignore armor but don't do a lot of damage to shields these guys ignore 100% of armor um, these guys do the additional shield damage so basically if we run up against armored ships these guys should be able to cut through them so we will probably build a couple of those once we have Probably another tier six starport to work with. Um, also, someone mentioned that uh, we had an anomaly that we had missed sitting right here. So, we're going to go ahead and deal with that as soon as we have a free science ship. If I remember to do it. So, I could always forget. Alright, let's unpause it. Let's get things uh, moving here. And we need to decide Research complete. what's next. Alright, research complete on kelp removal. Um, atmospheric kel uh, filtering. Artificial moral codes. Naval capacity plus 10% growth time. Go ahead and take care of that, it's cheap. So I want to get more... more guys into our... Construction complete. Our federation here, and if we look at the diplomatic map mode, so... Um, the yellow guys are our vassals. The purple guys are members of our federation. The... These kind of light, minty green colors are um, associated states. And actually, I think these guys are vassals. Ooh, Royal Grisub Stars. Research them. Um, these guys have their own vassals, so they are sort of members of our um, our federation by default. Um, the United Federation of Planets doesn't have any vassal states. System survey complete. Ooh, system survey complete. Perfect. You come over here and uh, Get on that anomaly. Construction complete. So let me look at my opinion map mode. And these guys not liking us much. What about these? Coalition of Vulcan? Uh, they are vassals under the hottest band consensus, which are these guys. 
All right, war with the Taswin Confederation. They have Sudesh Sind, which are these guys. They don't like us much. What is their problem? Border friction. Ah, evangelizing zealots. Okay, so they don't like the fact that we're not religious. But these guys might be... Useful. We could support their independence. How do these guys stack up against us? They're equivalent. The able capacity is inferior, but their fleet power is equivalent. Hmm. So, that might actually be not a bad idea. Now, can you guys build a couple of these new battleships? Anybody else have a nice big... Oh, they're working on it. Starports. They're working... Oh, we're building another colony ship. We're building another colony ship. Construction complete. I think... I remember correctly, that was a colony ship going here. So those should be Narians, I think. No, they're Slark. Right, okay. They're gonna colonize there so we can potentially remove this um, frontier outpost. Right. Okay. Construction ships. I don't think there's anything left for them to do at the moment. System survey complete. Now, finish the system survey. And we're just going to keep on working on those. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're going to do it. Thinking we're going to support their independence. Firm on that. So if they declare war to gain independence, we will join them. See, now if we declared war on them, would we have the liberate the coalition of Vokan? So we could just say, go ahead, and we could basically say, we want you to liberate them. Construction complete. And we could initiate the hostilities. We may actually end up doing that once we get our battleships up and rolling. Do we have any other... Oh, we probably want to build a spaceport there. Science team on ADS Jake's reports that they have not found any impactful data. Okay, they failed the analysis, the anomaly. Oh well. Ah, there's the colony ship. They have the Slarg. Head over here. Colonize that planet. Drop you on the food. Construction complete. Science ship. Construction complete. Any systems that we can survey? Yes, get out here and survey this system. Oh, we're starving somewhere. Surface. We assembled ship shelter. Okay, so that's going to be that.
Do they have a spaceport? They're in the process of building one. System survey complete. Let's see, this is still a growing pop. Let's do this. Let's swap that out. So get the active pop. So that should bring things to zero, okay. Alright, the first of our new battleships is just about done. And I think I'm going to queue up a couple of cruisers. Let's just go through all these and make sure that everybody who has one of these oh, is already being built. System survey complete. Research. Solar panel networks. Construction Solar panel complete. networks. So we want, we want that power. We take the presence of a pre-space civilization. Okay. I'm not ready to worry about that right now. Alright, that solar panel network's being built. This one needs to be built. Build one here. Alright, we got the growth time minus 10%. Research. Xenobiology. Pitharan dust refining. Epigenetic triggers for uplift. Yes, I want to do that. I think we have some pre sentient civilizations in our territory that we want to uplift. Construction complete. At least I want to uplift them anyway. Situation log updated. Flight is Stellar Republic. Okay, so we've found some more... Stellar Republic. State. Hmm. Okay, so how's my fleet looking? So I actually wanted to check and see if my salvaged cruiser that we had gotten early, early in the game had been destroyed. And it very well may have. Oh, we've got a new battleship coming in. Construction complete. The Sea Fallen Cruiser, which we recovered from the bottom of an ocean, and the Pride of Harilla, which we cut, which we got from that event chain with the Arilla, we still have. These are my cruisers. Yeah, it looks like we may have lost it. 
So I'm either, um, someone suggested renaming a ship in honor of it. We might do that um, at some point. I'll have to pick one of those ships. Maybe one, maybe one of the new cruisers that I have building right now. Or queued up to build, which are going to be Research one of these two. Ah, research complete. Ah, fighters. Okay, so we can set up a carrier. All right, what we got? Super fluid materials, engineering facilities, strikecraft speed plus ten percent, Teldar crystal mining, advanced rail guns. That might not be a bad idea. Marauder missiles, quantum missiles, afterburners. Armored torpedoes. Now let's go to the advanced railguns. And then let's go ahead and new battleship design. We're gonna take the hangar parts. Right, hangar core, carrier core. And I guess we'll go with the broadside stern. So go with two fighter wings and a bomber wing. Actually, no, two two bomber wings and a fighter wing. Let's do that. And then we're gonna need point defense. Which we need some better point defense guns. Um, for medium, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with with um, missiles. So they actually have some range. For my medium weapons, and for smalls, construction complete. What do you want to go for with smalls? Two point three nine UV lasers. Eight to fourteen, eight to twelve. Let's see, accuracy seventy five percent tracking sixty. Actually ninety percent tracking sixty. I think the UV lasers are probably the better option. Go ahead and auto-complete the rest of the design. There we go. Recall this... Oh, I always got to name things. Um, let's see. Okay, just had to pause there while I thunk for a bit. We're gonna name it the Ilium class. All right. That's some unemployment. These guys not have a power hub complete. yet? System survey complete. It doesn't look like it. Build a power hub there. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, is that that colony is still establishing, okay. Construction complete. Alright, all of my science ships are now done, so let's go ahead and get them working back on surveys. Oh, the Slark Combine decided to 
expand themselves a little bit. Survey system. Construction complete. And they want to build a bunch of front frontier outposts, then by all means. Another science ship here. Continue work on the surveys. I don't think there's really any more territory for me to build stuff in. to get rid of these United Federation of Planets colonies, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to. Now, one thing I do want to do here, um, you know, since I can't think of anything else to build here, let's just build science labs. Just build science labs. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna disable those auto saves because that's what keeps like interrupting things. So it's kind of getting on my nerves because the auto saves continue to just take longer and longer and longer. I'm probably just gonna turn them off. All right. So once this finishes, we will be up to 10 of 10. Now, we can integrate them. It's gonna cost us a total of 915 influence at a rate of five influence per month. We're right now only making two influence per month. I can get rid of the frontier outposts, that'll help. A primitive alien civilization. Now I might end up losing this system here. Depends on how much pressure that can put on things. Is this mine? Construction Ooh. complete. We got two colonizable worlds here, continental and arid. Construction complete. You know what we're going to want to do? Colony ship. I'm gonna colonize over here. Put some pressure. It does mean we're gonna have to start creating a, um, a sector somewhere. Which is fine. Defensive Pact Invitation. Okay, I think those cruisers finished building, did they not? Spaceport? Ah, oh, one of them did. Colony established. Research oh, there complete. you are. The primitive alien civilization on half Phil Fallon has unlocked the secrets of a steam engine. Okay, so they begin to move into the industrialized or industrial revolution. Sister of this many. Complete. 
So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this thing. And what someone wanted me to rename it as um, the salvage two. There we go. And here we have our battleships. Maybe we should queue up a Ilium class carrier. Add that in. Drowner conservers. Executor Ishta Manadil. We understand that your empire is home to an individual whose brilliant mind transcends the tragical primitives of your species. While the talents of Fexina Linadil are sadly wasted in the confederated Asari domains, we Drowner always have a use for skilled scientists to work in our archives. As such, we are offering you a unique chance to earn our favor by allowing us to take charge of her. We already have a ship en route to pick her up. So you need only say yes, and everything will be settled. I'm sure you won't want to disappoint us, do you? Stagnant Ascendancy. Oh, these guys are a... Fallen Empire. They'll be displeased. They will leave our empire, will be pleased, and may not, and may show us favor in the future. You know what? Who is this? Is that one of my... Ah, she's one of the scientists, one of my science vessels. You know what, that's fine. Go ahead and uh, take her. And we will recruit a new scientist. Well, as soon as we have the influence to recruit a new scientist. So that means we're going to have a science ship that's going to be out of commission for a little bit. But right now... We're not really doing much other than uh, running surveys, so... System survey complete. Oh, they Anomaly just finished. Found. Ooh, anomaly found. And we got nothing there because we don't have anyone who can do that. Oh, actually. X-ray laser. Neutron torpedoes. Planetary power grid. Power Hub 2s. I think one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and go policies and edicts and do Xenos allowed for leaders. And see if that allows me. Research complete. To recruit anybody else because our leaders are more expensive. Or Asari are more expensive to recruit. But the advantage of Asari is that they're very long lived. Oh, we finished uplift! Oh, yes. Okay, so. Unlocks clearing tile blockers. Yeah, let's get the, let's get the tile blocker removers. Alright, and we have finished that colony. Get a spaceport going. Construction complete. Because we got some tile blockers we're gonna need to remove here. Now I could always bump this up to 15 controlled systems. If I don't want to create a sector. 
So I could always go under here and say... Construction complete. Plus fly a planet cap. I could do that. I still am going to run sectors, though. While approaching Hiragana 4, the Calamane suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on the trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design, despite their incredible age. Okay. Alright, survey complete. system. Now we should be building that colony ship. Looks like it's almost done. Good. Now I need 10,000 power and 10,000 minerals to try and build this prototype ring world system. Artifact cache. As the Confederated Asari Domains colonists spread across the world of Shurkus Prime. Which one is that? Not sure. Um, expeditions travel out into the frontiers looking for suitable sites for new cities and production centers. Orbital scans can only show so much, after all. One such expedition has stumbled across something far more notable than expected, however. A vast cache of ancient books in some alien tongue has been found along with artifacts of many different varieties, from the paintings, statues, and even mummified aliens found within the cache it appears as though an alien civilization existed on Shirkus Prime some indeterminable time ago. A special project has been issued to decipher the text. It's intriguing. Updated. Shuttle crash on Budding Dreams. During a clandestine mission to the surface of Budding Dreams, one of our shuttles was intercepted by a squadron of atmospheric fighters belonging to the local nation state. A lucky missile hit to stable the shuttle's engine and it crashed in a remote wilderness region. We need to act fast if we are to evacuate any survivors before the natives reach the crash site. All evidence of our presence must be removed. Time Situation is short. Okay. Updated. Hold on. Timed project. Track on map, go to. What do we need? Rescue. We need a science ship that has a skill 3 or higher. Well, can I pull you off what you're doing? Research project. Examine the cache. Cash. Research that, 90 days. Up, oh, and the colony ship is done. Okay, so you guys come over here. They are still in my territory just barely. Okay, so get over here and colonize. Oh, why are we on slowest? Okay. Do I actually have any Zeno leaders yet? No. So we'll just have to wait for we have 85 influence. I thought you guys were just doing passive observation. Why were you sending a shuttle to the surface?
All right, so we can do uplift now. And actually, we are at time here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode. Um, when we come back, I think one of the things we're going to try and do is look and see if there's going to be any pre-sentient species that we can try to uplift. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.